Hey, Cigar Lovers, got another cigar review for you today. Today I have the Caldwell from their Lost and Found series. I've got the Spam Artist. This is a this particular one is a Toro Grande. It's a 6x54 ring gauge. It's made in the Dominican Republic. Um, it's got a Corojo wrapper on it. The binder is Dominican and the filler is Nicaraguan and Dominican. Um, if you know the, the Lost and Found series from, Cal, uh, from Caldwell, they got some, some kind of weird or, or odd name. This one's a spam artist. It's got some paint brushes on it. Um, it's, it's an okay, you know, just a basic looking uh, band on it. Uh, also with that Lost and Found series, there's been some, if you, if you do some research on it, there's been some controversy, or I don't want to say controversy, but some, some kind of a, some mixed messages out there. Supposedly, pre-pandemic, they went to uh, all these factories and old aging rooms and found all these old age cigars that weren't being used and they scooped them up and they rebranded them. Uh, but since then, in 2022, they've announced that they're starting to put some of these into regular production. So when you purchase these, you don't really know whether you're getting some of that, if it's an old one that was scooped up, you know, five, six years ago, or if this was just went into production in 2022. To me, it's all good. I've never smoked a bad Caldwell cigar. They all burn good. Uh, they have great construction. So um, it, whether you agree with me or not, you got to admit that it's a brilliant marketing plan because that, that marketing plan sold them a lot of cigars with this Lost and Found series. So this is the Spam Artist. Um, the initial, um, the if you take a look at the Corojo wrapper, it's a little bit toothy, nice medium brown color. Um, I don't feel any soft spots in it. The uh, initial aromas and the foot on the foot and the wrapper definitely have some hay dominant leather and cedar so we'll go ahead and get it cut and i'll be right back with the cold draw all right went ahead and got it cut went with a straight guillotine cut uh using my perfect cut um cold draw no draw issues at all it's got it's got a great pull on it um just leather and cedar is, is what I'm getting on the cold draw. So uh, very nice, and, you know, nothing too crazy. Um, I'm going to go ahead and get this lit up, and I'll be back in the first third, let you know my initial impressions on the cigar as well as what I'm getting in that first third. All right, almost uh, an inch into the first third here. Uh, very enjoyable cigar. It's um, on the flavor strength profile, this one's starting off. Smack dab in the middle of the medium. I got it at a five right now. Um, smooth leather up front, followed by cedar. And then you get this wonderful, fresh baked. Uh, I, 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 my palates tell me it's a white bread, just a, a warm, fresh baked bread. And then you got some red pepper on the back end of it. So very nice. So, um, where do you get these cigars? You can find them on, um, on some of the, the big box stores um, online. I particularly got this one um, from Cigar Page. And if you really watch, you can really, really get a good deal on these. I got these, um, a 12-pack of these, and I've got three different of the Lost and Found series um, I'm going to be reviewing. I've got the, the Spoon also and the Swinger and then the Spam Artist. But I got 12 of those cigars for $29.99 with tax. Um, so you got four each of those cigars. That came out for um, just under $2.75 a cigar. So for this quality and this caliber of cigar, you cannot match it. I mean, they've just they're, they've got to be doing sheer volume on these just to be able to, to get them out at that price. Um, so... I'm going to continue smoking on here. I'm enjoying it so far. Really like it. And I'll be back in the second third, let you know what I'm tasting. All right, into the second third of the cigar. I have not touched up this cigar at all. It continues to burn beautifully. Nice white grayish ash. Um, like I said, I have not had a Caldwell cigar that hasn't been constructed um, in the finest quality. Burns great every single time. Um, the intensity in the second thirds picked up a little bit. That uh, red pepper is kind of a little bit more spicy, um, especially on the retro hail. Not overpowering, you know, not, nothing crazy, um, but it's a nice red pepper. And then that, um, so that's up front along with the cedar and that leather is kind of in the back, uh, the back seat. 
the uh, unfortunately those those bread notes I was tasting that I really really like those have dissipated but we'll see what happens in the in the final third here but um, still about a five five point five on the on the flavor strength profile so smack dab in the middle as a medium um, it's just it's just a very fine quality cigar burning just absolutely phenomenally so we'll get into the uh, get the band off here get into the final third I'll let you know. Come back, let you know what I'm tasting, as well as my final thoughts on the cigar. All right, into that final third of the cigar here. Continues to burn almost perfect. Getting down to the nub here. Still have that red pepper up front for me, which is nice. And then I've had another introduction of another flavor, which I really like. And it's a spicy cinnamon that's moved in. Um, it's up front, and then I can really taste it on the finish as well. Still have that cedar and leather on the back end, um, but just overall, very good cigar, very enjoyable, especially for the for the price point on this one. Um, is this for the new cigar smoker? I would say absolutely. I've got it with that uh, that red pepper that kicked up a little bit more in the second and final third. I'm going to put it at a 5.5 on the flavor strength profile, a medium, not even close to a medium plus, uh, just very nice. My overall rating for this cigar is going to be an 88, and this has been the Caldwell from the Lost and Found series. This is the Spam Artist. This is the Toro Grande. This is the 6x54, and until next time, smoke them if you got them.